how like low their room. The season started. Let's try and improve on last year. Apparently she wanted to say something there, I don't know, but uh, welcome along to episode number 65 for our final F1 2019 season, uh, season number four, and uh, you can see that uh, we've joined the silver and black. Yes, we're going to take on the Mercedes team back to glory. Oh yes, folks, back to the glory days. So, Toto Wolf. Toto, how's Susie, mate? How, how's Susie and the baby? Good to hear. Um, there is our contract. There is our update. Carl giving the weekend preview. Uh, they did some updates over the thingy. Oh, oh dear, Miss going to be a wet Aussie Grand Prix. Isn't it always? Give me 5,000 R&D points. And we only have two driver transfers to talk about. And basically it's a... Uh, uh, we've come to Mercedes. And Magnussen, who was here, has gone the other way. Who does that mean our teammate? Yes, folks. F2 revisited myself and Lucas Weber. <laughs> this should be fun. So you see we're sort of top of the midfield at the moment. They've uh, done some investment. Ooh, they give me some big ones. That's good. But uh, let's have a look at where everything is right now and see where see where we've got to uh, play with. So you can see the chassis here. We're sort of midfield in the chassis. What we can do is get these two miners, and we're going to do that straight away. We're going to get these two miners on the car. They'll be ready for Bahrain. So at least we've got something to Bahrain, and we're not going to be bringing the same car we got here. Um, I was thinking of doing that, but we'll, we'll leave that. We'll get that sorted. But you can see here we're pretty low on the powertrain. We're being beaten by McLaren, Renault, Ferrari. Ferrari have made a big gain. So that's uh, a worry. We've got to beat, uh, beat the Ferraris. And uh, I think with the way it is now, I think we might wait, do a few bits of practice, and then go for the upgrades, probably at the end of the Grand Prix weekend. We'll uh, see what that does. We're fourth in aero, long way off uh, Haas, which uh, isn't good. And as you saw on the chassis, we're pretty even. So like I said, we've got them two coming in. There's how everyone did, and you see that everyone in the bottom half upgraded. And uh, you got Williams, Haas, and all them. They didn't upgrade. And there is the new championship as it is. No one's moved apart from, like I said, myself and Magnussen. And uh, oh, this it's sort of like back to the start of the season, career season. But that's uh, going to do it. We're going to get practice then with this Mercedes, and we're going to get qualified. And we'll see you on the other side of this for a rather soggy and rather wet Australian Grand Prix. They say that even a second is an eternity in Formula One, so going four winter months with no racing at all has seemed a very long time indeed. We're back though in Melbourne, home of the Australian Grand Prix since 1996. We're a stone's throw from the enormous Port Phillip Bay for today's race at the 3.3 mile Albert Park circuit. It's a bumpy racing surface here, and the 16 corners could prove especially difficult in the wet conditions. Watch out for a safety car at some point during the Grand Prix. Joining us today to oversee all the thrills and spills, it's Anthony Davidson. And great to see you. How are you feeling about the race today? And how are the circuit conditions from what you've seen? Well, it's looking a bit cold out there, if I'm honest. These tyres have quite a narrow operating window in terms of the temperatures they need to extract the best grip. So with a cold track surface, it's going to be harder to keep those temperatures up, which will lead to lower grip and maybe more mistakes. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. Poole lines up on pole position, and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Magnussen, Lucas Faber, and Hamilton, Sainz, Gasly, Butler, and Alexander Albon, Grosjean, Vettel, Sergio Perez, and Hulkenberg, Verstappen. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Kvyat, Daniel Ricciardo, and Lance Stroll, Raikkonen, and Antonio Giovinazzi starts from the back of the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track.
race of the season and you're on pole, let's bring home a win today. Oh, and holy smokes did we put a lap in in qualifying. We did qualify P1. Um, basically, we just outpaced him in Sector 2. Uh, sorry, Sector 3. And oh my god, the car was a lightning. Um, we're not going to need a stop today, uh, apparently, because mm, it's raining. So we don't need to stop. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're going to do the best we can here. Bottas uh, was fast. So let's see uh, let's see how we do against that McLaren then, shall we? Uh, so you people want a face cam? We'll give you that face cam then, folks, as five red lights go on. And it's lights out, and away we go! Woohoo! Here we go for the Australian Grand Prix. And uh, it's a pretty darn good start, let me uh, tell you. Oh, oh we're on oh, all over the grass of the gravel. You don't want to be in the grass of the gravel in these conditions, let me assure you, folks. Because if you're in the grass of the gravel in these conditions, it is never, ever going to work. And that's the one thing that we always want to stress. This rain is going to be absolutely pain as we've got McLarens, we've got Hasses all over our rear end. It is just not ever going to work like that. It just isn't. It really isn't. You can see out of the Whoa, you saw that oh, uh, that was that's what we were like. We were all over the place then. Going through um I gotta get my turns right now. One, two, three, four, five, that was turn six, seven, and eight. We still got one of them hasses all over our rear wing. I think it's Charles Leclerc that's uh, right there. But down the back straight now. To the fast chicane in the dry. This chicane is absolutely flat, folks, let me assure you. In the wet, eh, not so much. But uh, it can cause a lot of uh, errors and a lot of mistakes. Let me assure you all of that. If you think that it's going to be all cakewalks and roses in this uh, race, you have another thing coming. Because this is going to be anything but a cakewalk. It's going to be anything but uh, a decent start. an easy race. This is going to be difficult because this is not the car it should be. It has to be perfect and it's just not perfect. As we head down the main straight, we're going to start lap number two of the Australian Grand Prix. Obviously we set the fastest lap of the Grand Prix. Who wouldn't set the fastest lap of the Grand Prix on the first lap? <sighs> Someone wouldn't set the fastest lap of the Grand Prix on the first lap. But uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens from here. We've got 14 more laps of this race to go. It's going to be on from here, folks. It's got to be on, and it's got to be just, you know, absolutely damn perfect. As we go through turn number five, down towards turn six, seven, and eight. Heavy on the braking zone, under the trees. Ooh, the back end just stepping out in these intermediate conditions. I cannot stress how much difficult these conditions are to drive in now, folks. Absolutely cannot stress. They're difficult. They're atrocious. They're unbelievable. As we come out of turn 11, you've got Leclerc there. I believe that's Hamilton in the McLaren. I want to say that's Hamilton. Leclerc trying around the outside of turn 11. That ain't going to work, folks. I'll just uh, force you out. You can see it there. It hasn't worked now for him because he's got... Actually, it's Bottas in third place. We do apologise to Hamilton. Uh, but you got one of the Renaults there. I think that's Kevin Magnussen who uh, took our place. He got uh, Hamilton uh, right behind him. So uh, it's all kicking off, all going all over the place here between the uh, the top three people. But whoa, whoa. Whew. okay, chill, relax. We may not be able to chill and relax for much longer, folks, because it is going to still be on as Leclerc comes again. He's going to the outside to turn number one on lap number three. He's got the move done, but can we get it back on the braking? Yes, we can! What an outbreak that was. We push him out wide as well. That is what you pay to see, and that is what you like. I know you like uh, that sort of stuff. Now, who are we looking at here? We are looking at uh, Danny Ricardo, who had, who's had the atrocious qualifying folks in that Ferrari. And the home uh, lad is down the inside of Turn 1 on Max Verstappen for P15. Oh, yeah, come on! Come on, he's saying. The Aussie crowd giving it some. Come on, the Aussie crowd are saying. And he's got the move done, thankfully. Phew. That is what he's saying. He's saying phew. And we're saying, whoa, we're saying all over the place uh, in uh, turn number one. That is what, well, that's what we're saying anyway. 
hopefully that's uh, what we're saying as we come into turn number 10. So slow, it's so precarious. Oh, honestly guys, I feel like uh, I've already run a race already. Now we're going back to back to Stappen, I do believe. Uh, is he going to have a go at Ricardo? No, he's got Danny Kvyat all over his back end. You can see the fight going on here. It's for P16 on the track. And yes, uh, Kvyat's going to get it done down the inside of turn 11. And uh, he should keep that. No, here comes Hollywood Land Stroll, folks. Stroll wants some. Will Stroll get some? No, he won't. But uh, while all that was going on, look at this uh, mess at the front of the field here. Uh, this is... Uh, well, there's myself. you got Leclerc. you got Magnussen. That's Magnussen in the yellow Renault. The, that was our seat last year, remember? you got Hamilton. you got Bottas. They're all side by side trying to chase down the silver bloody looking Ferrari. What? Ferrari? Silver Ferrari? Hello. I just committed sacrilege. And that is not what we need to do. We need to keep the Mercedes. We need to keep Toto absolutely happy. Because if Toto's not happy, Toto boots us out. That's uh, one thing you can see there, down the main straight, we've got Kevin Magnussen, we got Charles Leclerc. Where's Magnussen going? He's going to the outside. Will he try around the outside to turn them one? Bit of a curb cut on uh, there, but uh, we get away with it. No harm, no foul. We're almost falling over in excitement. And uh, you see Leclerc whizzing out there, trying to have a go. There's Hamilton in front of Bottas. And Bottas is now going to come back, have a go at Hamilton here. Down the inside, outside, sorry. But he's got the move done out of turn three. Great move there by Valtteri Bottas. I like, uh, I like that move. That move was absolutely fan dabby doos a lose. That's uh, what I'm saying. But into turn number six we go through turn seven now. Coming through turn eight. Turn seven and eight absolutely flat out. Don't need to worry about them. It's turn six you've got to worry about. As we go uh, back to, oh, we've got a yellow flag flying here. I think one of the McLarens has broke. It's Valtteri Bottas, ladies and gentlemen. Valtteri Bottas has gone and broke. And that's the end of his race after only, what, four laps? Yeah, after only four laps. That's such a shame. Not really. As uh, we go to our teammate, our teammate for the season, Lucas Justin Weber. And when we get a powerful car, it's going to be on between me and Weber. You know it's going to be on between me and Weber. Uh, but uh, you see Sainz uh, was his victim there, he's passed Carla Sainz and uh, that looks like big time Devon Butler here. Oh, someone, someone's flown off. Oh no, Gasly's uh, lost his wing. You may have uh, just seen it there, Gasly, uh, look at the left front end plate which is somewhere around here. He's lost that, he's going to need to pit for a new wing on that one. As we go to this fight between uh, myself and Kevin Magson, this is for the race lead on lap number five. But uh, we're, we're just going to outbreak him into the first corner all day, every day. You ain't going to come past us, not in a month of Sundays. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday! <laughs> Dear me, I've, I've already um, expelled myself and we haven't even got to start. We're only even halfway through this race. We are not halfway through this race yet, folks. That's the, that's the really worrying thing for you lot. You think, ah, oh, this is all going to be over in a jiffy, but it's really not. It's not uh, not over yet, not by a long shot. As uh, we go to, uh, that is going to be Carlos Sainz being passed by big time Devon Butler. That's for P6, and that was a great move around the outside of turn number uh, six. But uh, here at turn number 11, 10, guess what's about to happen? Magnussen wants to come and have a go. Come and have a go, Kev. Yeah, come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. If you think you're hard enough. You're not hard enough, Pat. That's uh, what we're saying to him. And you see how much he's uh, lost out there. He's lost out to Charles... No, that's not Charles Leclerc. That's Carlos Sainz in front of Grosjean. That's Albon passing Gasly. Remember, Gasly's got that wing damage, folks. That's not... Uh, that's not going to be easy for him. He's going to have to nurse that through this whole race. And he's just going to go... <whistles> all the way down the field. Not, uh, not good. It's just not good. But uh, what else isn't good is that uh, it looks like... Uh, who is that? Who is that? That's uh, Verstappen. I'm looking... Uh, that's Kvyat and Verstappen there. This isn't Kvyat and Verstappen. This is uh, Leclerc and... Uh, I believe Magnussen. 
we're somewhere up the front. No, it's not Leclerc and Magnussen. That is uh, Grosjean and Sainz. Grosjean around the outside of Carlos Sainz, and that is uh, Roman Grosjean up into P7. Meanwhile, we're coming through turn six, seven on uh, lap number six. I feel like I've run a race already. I feel like we've run a race already and we haven't. We haven't even got started. We haven't even got finished either. It's just going to be all on from this moment. All on right through to the chequered flag. And if it's not all on to the uh, chequered flag, then Lord knows what's going to happen. But uh, here comes uh, another pass. We've got, uh, who is that? That is Danny Ricardo. He's gone after one of the racing points here. That would be Nico Hulkenberg. And that is for P13, folks. And uh, he's got the job done down the inside of turn 11 and 12. That is, that's a great move. Anytime you go down the inside of turn 11 and 12, you are doing an absolute major one there. As uh, we go down the main straight, this is the start lap number seven of the... Uh, Austrian, Australian Grand Prix. Kevin Magnussen sets the fastest lap of this Grand Prix, folks. And uh, I'm telling you uh, right now, any experiments that uh, we were trying that uh, definitely didn't work. And we won't be uh, trying that again because uh, I'll make sure we don't uh, try it again as we go uh, on board. Who is this with? This is with... Uh, that is Albon going around the outside. Sainz, Sainz must have a problem because uh, Sainz is being passed by cars left, right, and uh, centre. He must have a he must have a problem, guys. Oh, someone else's wing has gone flying there. What's uh, gone on there? Oh, Nico Hulkenberg's now out of the race. That's Nico Hulkenberg, I do believe. He's retired. Someone else has uh, had wing damage there. Wow, that was uh, mildly controversial. Here, speaking of controversial, Magnussen's going to have a go around the outside. Excuse me, you even dare try it, and that's uh, going to end with you in the wall. You don't ever try that move, son. I'll make sure you don't ever try that move. Do it again, and we're going to have uh, a big old uh, problem. My son. Dear me. So we're coming out uh, turn 15 now. This is going to start uh, lap number eight as we go to Carlos Sainz. He's got Albon all over his rear wing. And uh, Albon is uh, just going to... Well, he tried to, but here comes uh, Perez down the inside of uh, Alexander Albon, the Thai Brit driver. And it looks like Albon's going to lose out, I think. No, he's not. He's going to keep the uh, place because uh, he's mildly ahead. Although, around the outside, that might work. That might uh, work out for him, folks. Let's see if that uh, does work out for him. As uh, he goes down the main straight, he's got him at the moment. Will uh, Danny Ricardo come through? That's what we're all looking for. We're looking at Danny Ricardo. Perez has got Albon. Will Ricardo get Albon? That's going to be the question. Ricardo in his home Grand Prix. As I hear a helicopter outside, it's going all over the place has gone nuts it's gone completely nuts <laughs> there we go that's a little clean up as well he's still there he's got uh, one of the uh, racing points all over his uh sorry it's one of the red balls all over his rear and that looked like uh well they're still side by side Bloody hell, Albon's kept hold of that from Ricardo. How did he manage to do that, folks? Oh, we will never, ever know how we managed to do that. But uh, he deserves all the plaudits in the world for even trying it. Because, uh, you know, that's uh, that's what he does deserve. He should get to his just desserts from, uh, from that one. That is uh, what I would say as you, we go on board. That is uh, ourself and Kevin Magnussen. On the, in the box, we've got, it looks like Perez. Uh, Gasly, sorry. No, that is Perez. Yes, Perez and Gasly for P10. But we're around the inside of Kevin Magnussen. And that is P1 retaken. <coughs> Excuse me. 
I was about to say, where the hell is uh, Bottas then? But I remembered, Bottas retired! Bottas retired! Speaking of uh, retired, Magnussen is all over our rear wing here. He's going to have another go here around the outside. We're taking the defensive line inside. Squeeze him to the outside of the corner. He won't like that. Because I think we've uh, pushed him into the uh, grip of Charles Leclerc as Gasly's now defending for Sebastian Vettel for P11. Gasly, who had such a good run going, it's now been ruined by uh, a mixture of bad luck and uh, everything else here. We'll continue that on down the back straight here. Vettel uh, going to go around the outside. This is for P11. Vettel one place out of the points. Of, well, uh, give him credit. Gasly is uh, holding on here. Vettel may lose out to uh, the Honey Badger, Rip Bobby. Good old Danny Ricardo. And no, he doesn't. So he keeps uh, that position for the moment. We're on lap number nine. How did we end up on lap number nine? Lord knows how we ended up on nine. But we're coming to start lap number ten. Six laps left in this Grand Prix. As Kevin Magnussen looks to the outside of turn one yet again, folks. <coughs> He's not, you're not coming through. How many more times do you have to be told you're not coming through? If your name's not down, you're not coming in. That is what I'm telling you. If you don't like that, tough. Well, tough I would uh, certainly say. Whether tough happens or not, I don't know. But through turn five. And uh, once we get through turn five, it's on to turn six. Hit that curve very nicely and then turn seven. We need to drop Kevin Magnussen, and uh, we need to uh, drop Kevin Magnussen pretty quickly as we go into turn uh, 9, over the curve, turn 10. And now onwards we go, through the back straight. Well, it's not really a back straight, it's a back kink. There we go, we'll call it like we see it. It's a back kink, folks. Ooh, nice little cur corner cut there, but we kept it uh, on the island. You can actually take a lot more curb than you think there, and you don't uh, actually get penalised, which uh, is the main thing there, as we uh, go in through turn tw uh, 13, through turn 14, coming up to turn 15 in the dry. This is tough, but in the wet, it's even tougher. Uh, speaking of tougher, hey, it's the Alfa Romeos, everybody. It's uh, that we got... Uh, whoa, who, what the hell's going on here? It's all kicking off here. Kvyat's gone down the inside of Giovinazzi. That's for P17. Excuse me, coming through, says uh, that man. As uh, they continue down. Oh, I think he might not be done. I think he might not be done. He's going for Raikkonen. Free wide into the turn 13. What's he doing? Raikkonen's just overtaken uh, whoever that was. Who's his teammate? I forgot who his teammate is. It's Stroll. That's who it is. Hollywoodland Stroll. And Kvyat's got Jova Nazi round uh, his outside. He's not going to settle for that, surely. Giovinazzi's going to go round the inside. Thank you very much, says that man. Move me up to P17 once again. Thank you very much. Uh, still got five laps to go, folks. It's, uh, it's all kicking off. Oh, I think Magnussen was uh, having a look there around uh, the outside of turn uh, 11. That weren't going to work. You were always going to lose out there, Magnussen. I think if you look very carefully at the mini map, we're starting to drop uh, Leclerc and uh, Hamilton. So this could turn into a uh, two-horse race here between myself and uh, Kevin Magnussen for the race win. Although, to be fair, we've got uh, Magnussen's old car, and he was pretty crap in it. And he's got our car, old car, and he was pretty awesome in it. We were pretty awesome, I should say. So, in theory, we should be awesome in his car and he should be crap in our car. If that made sense. That may have made sense. That may not have made uh, any sense. It may have made zero sense. Who knows what uh, it made. It made something. As uh, we go to uh, Dan Danny Kivy. I think that's, uh, yeah. You see Raikkonen's disappeared into the distance. you got... Kvyat fighting uh, Jova Nazi again for P17. And he's got the uh, job done there, but we're on the uh, main straight here. And uh, Kvyat starts there for one. He's going for the other one. That's Hollywood Land Stroll dispatched off. Kvyat into P6. No, it can't be P16. 
Yeah, it is P16, so we've lost two cars, not uh, one. As uh, we go to Ricardo, he's going to have a go at Vettel here. Vettel's uh, wounded, Vettel is vulnerable. And that is going to be P12 for the Aussie in his home Grand Prix. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie! Bye, 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 says uh, that man. As we're going uh, through turn 14 into turn 15. Coming out of turn 15 to start to lap number 13. When we come through the last corner. Yes, I may have five laps of fuel left. I've been in standard saving fuel. Kevin Magnussen says the fastest lap of the Grand Prix. Uh, speaking of fastest lap of the Grand Prix, Kip Ricardo's on the move. He's going after Gasly for P11. He's going to say to Vettel, hey, German, this is how it's done. And uh, P11 for the Aussie. And you wouldn't put any money past him getting uh, Perez for P10 uh, on the next lap, you would think. As uh, Hamilton and Leclerc begins squabbling for P3. That's uh, going to end one way and going to end one way uh, only. And it ends with Leclerc back in front to Hamilton. Although saying that, a little bit up the road through turn six. They're still side by side. Lewis wants this position badly. He's not going to get it though. But you can see now the pair of these two fighting. They've uh, really lost out to myself and Magnussen. And you remember what I told you a couple of minutes ago about Ricardo passing Perez? Well, here comes uh, Ricardo uh, passing Perez. And that's Ricardo into the point of his home Grand Prix as we go into turn 13. And now, uh, well, Magnussen is somewhere really close. You can see actually he's right behind us. You can see on the uh, proximity arrows, which is just above our uh, glove there. That's uh, how close he is. You can actually see him. If you look at the mirror, you can see how close he is. He may go for a move here on lap 14. And that is exactly uh, what he's going to do. He is going to have a go down into turn one side by side. Mercedes and Renault. Inferior Mercedes against almighty Renault. And inferior Mercedes beats almighty Renault. Why? Because he's got me behind the wheel. That's why. <laughs> Hell yeah, my man. Hell yeah. That is uh, what we are talking about. I really enjoyed that. That move was uh, pretty special, uh, if you ask me. And you see, look, we've really pulled away uh, from uh, Leclerc and Hamilton. They're, they ain't even going to get uh, close to us. So it's going to be between myself and it's going to be between, I would say, Magnussen for the race win. And you know Perez Pat was passed by Ricardo. Ricardo's not done there. He's going after P9. He's going to have to Carlos Sainz. And he is going to take ninth place off the Spaniard. What? Um, I tell you what, he has been absolutely inspired as uh, Rick Bobby the Honey Badger. He has been absolutely inspired to perform. And uh, perform he is. Because he is going, going, going gone uh, but we're coming out of turn 15 we got one lap left of the uh, Australian Grand Prix and uh, we're gonna just uh, we're gonna just enjoy this uh, as much as we can because It is, uh, I wouldn't say it's been a dominant victory, but I wouldn't say it's been a convincing victory because Magnussen has kept us on our toes, <clears throat> which is what you want. You want Magnussen. If Magnussen could perform like that every race, he could be a uh, contender for, uh, for, the for the championship. But we're going to have to see how that plays out because it may not happen that way it just may not happen folks as much as uh, as much as you want it it just may not uh, happen that way but here we go through turn uh, 11 and 12 for the final time and now down towards turn 13 and this is uh, the victory I can see Magnussen's uh, been dropped very slightly but this could go right down to the line between myself and the Dane 
as we come through turn 14 for the final time. We've set our fastest first sector. Can we, uh, personal best middle sector, can we do it to in style around Albert Park, though? Uh, because we are coming out of the last corner and we are going to celebrate it in style. We are going to win on our debut for Mercedes. Boom! Get in! Absolutely yes, fantastic. sir! How do you like that one? Oh, that one was for you, Toto. That's it for another Grand Prix and a fantastic win for Mercedes. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? Well, keeping their tyre temperatures up in the tricky wet conditions was really important. There's not much grip out there at the best of times, and it's ten times worse if you're out there on cold tyres. So the way they kept the rubber in its proper operating window was a huge advantage today. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot. A well-earned victory for Mercedes. A little bit of the bubbly. To this round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. Paul takes over the lead of the driver's championship. Some amazing talent out on the track today, but Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? Daniel Ricciardo certainly impressed me today. An incredible performance. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. Mercedes moved to the top of the table. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. That was for Toto Wolf, and that is what you call victory. Victory! And it tastes oh so sweet. Absolutely sweet as you like. We win the Australian Grand Prix for Mercedes AMG Patronus, followed by uh, Kevin Mangson in the Renault, then Charles Leclerc, Lewis Hamilton, Lucas Weber finished fifth. Great result for Lucas. Devon Butler, Roman Grosjean. Alexander Albon, Danny Ricardo got the fastest lap of the Grand Prix. Fair play to the Honey Badger. He nicked it off as prick. Uh, and then uh, Max Verstappen finishes here in 10th. It was Verstappen up there. I thought it was Gasly. Carlos Sainz finished 11th. Now, wait a minute. That means Verstappen passed Sainz somewhere. We didn't even see that. How did we uh, not see that? Bottas and uh, Hulkenberg didn't finish. And Stroll got a penalty. What did Stroll get a penalty for? Ignoring yellow flags. Ah, that's interesting. I didn't know you could actually get that penalty on this game. Well, there you go. First time uh, for everything, as uh, they would say. <clears throat> but uh, in the meantime, folks, I think it's go time to have our first interview with Claire as a Mercedes driver, don't you think? <laughs> well, at least I didn't catch you watching porn this time, Emma. No, you're Claire. I think they're going to be ecstatic after that performance, and uh, you know, we we're just glad we can live up to their expectations, really. It wasn't the cleanest race. I'm going to say uh, no. Um, it wasn't the cleanest race out there, and I'm not really going to comment uh, on that. But uh, we'll call him an idiot magnets. Why not? Devon did much better in today's race than he did in. Who gives two fine shits about Devon fucking Butler? Nobody cares about Devon Butler, and we just say so. What triggered your move to a new team? Um, I just felt like it was time for a new challenge. Simple as that. Great. Well, that's everything. No problem. Uh. <laughs> yeah, how'd you like that, Grosjean? The talent with that Renault is right here. And without me there, your car is nothing. Nothing, I tell you. It is nothing, nothing! And they don't like me calling it nothing? Well, that's on them. Not me. Yep, send my reputation up. That's, uh... 
That's how we like it, folks. That's how we we love to see it. This weekend, it was fantastic to see you up on that podium. Hey, we did better than the podium, honey. We fucking won the race. Don't you ever forget that. Right then, I suppose then we better go and uh, sort out like some. Uh, also oh, there we go. What we got here? Event. This could be yeah, a we're not going to do them. Play up your rivalry for the press and expand your. We're just going to run through season four as quick uh, as quick as we can. Right then. So what we are going to do is we've got uh, enough of uh, upgrade prices, so we're going to purchase these two upgrades here. So the major will be in for China, and the ultimate will be in for Azerbaijan, as we planned it. So that will move us right up the uh, sheets, probably matching Williams, if uh, we're being fair. And then Ferrari will have something to say about it. As far as the aero is concerned, we're going to do the exact same thing. Get the ultimate for Azerbaijan, and get the major for China. And then when it uh, when it comes to it, we'll work on the chassis and uh, get those uh, sorted. We'll probably have the chassis by, I would say, probably Canada. But uh, I don't want to go too far into it. And, uh, of course, we've got to get that uh, last ICE reliability uh, part as well. So there it all is. The two chassis for Bahrain. The two ultimates for Azerbaijan and the two majors for China. How simple is that? We're going back to the good days with uh, Mercedes. Back to the good days. But uh, guys, in recognition of that fantastic Australian Grand Prix for Mercedes, let's get 15 likes. We can do it uh, all together. And you can subscribe for more daily F1 2019, NASCAR Heat Force, Snooker 19. Monster Edgy Supercross as well as other live streams available throughout the week when you hit the notification bell. And when you hit that, you get notified when we're live and you get notified when a new episode goes up, generally around midnight UK time. But guys, thanks for watching. Hope you did enjoy that. And we will see you all on the start line for the next F1 2019 career video. And until then, take care and we'll see you all next time, folks.